um, I had a friend over here on March 30th. No, March 31st. And uh, so it was the last day, uh, which of course they've extended, but it was the last day. And we don't know, there hasn't been enough talk, in my opinion, on the IRS hammer that's going to come down on people who, for whatever reason, don't sign up. But first of all, when you go through the process, you have to give the government so much of your information. Now, you know, there was a time when I would have supported that. And under different circumstances, I might support. But under the current circumstances, where I'm not really even going to get health care. What I'm going to get is health insurance. The other thing is that people are saying, oh, well, you know, um, my health insurance costs me zero. That is not correct because the subsidy is a government payment from the government of direct pipeline to the insurance companies. Now, the insurance companies are part of the problem. They stepped in between the patient and the health care That's right. They want to control the quality of care, cut it back, jack up the price. They're the ones that wrote it. That's why the Republican leadership won't kill it. It's a big scam, just like uh, Clinton and Bush together being best buddies. That whole thing was staged. That's come out. They're all in the CIA. It's all a big scam. The insurance companies wrote it to rip everybody off. It's not even socialist health care. It's fascist health care. No, you're absolutely right. And, and my position is Medicare for all. Okay. Now, if I were going to get health care, that's one thing. Oh, I got to say, that would have been so easy. You don't qualify. You're poor. You get Medicare. No, 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 no. We got to give corporate welfare to the insurance companies that is just, just on its face 500 times worse than any limited uh, solution of taking care of poor people. It absolutely is 500 times worse. You, you couldn't have said it better. And then um, this matter, getting back to, to Homeland Security and the cultivation of the uh, informants, it appears that what's happening is through this Department of Homeland Security, we're reinstating uh, COINTELPRO, the counterintelligence program, which when it became public, the excesses of the FBI and the activities of the CIA inside the United States, which was illegal, when that all became public, the public said, hey, no more. And we had courageous members of Congress who served on the Frank Church Committee. It was head, headed by Senator Frank Church, who exposed 90 percent, not all, but 90 percent of the cards. And they talked about what COINTELPRO, what the FBI had done against Dr. King, what the FBI had done against the anti-war movement. Um, they talked about what they had done, what the CIA had done in a, a targeted assassination. All of the cards were laid out so that the American people would have an idea of what their government was doing. Now we have the uh, most secrecy, and this is coming from a president who said that uh, there was going to be transparency introduced in government. So the, the whole thing is rotten. Now, what is it that we have to do, Alex, in order to um, cut out? We have to excise that part that's rotten and then try and rejuvenate it with healthy um, organisms. The healthy organisms, that's us. That's us. And so the first thing that we have to do is, de is defend ourselves and make sure that the government doesn't encroach on us any more than it already has. I agree. Former Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney's there, and we'll put her Facebook up on screen. What's the best way for people to find your uh, Facebook? Just type in Cynthia McKinney Facebook? Cynthia McKinney official, because there's there's about six or seven. I understand. It's the one with the sunflowers on it. 
<laughs> That's right, the one with the sunflowers. All right, we'll be right back. Folks, we've got to identify this system as illegitimate first, point out it's criminal, and then we got to get together and start saying no and have unity. That's what they're scared of. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. You know, if you watch CNN or Fox News, you wouldn't even know who Cindy McKinney was by the things they said about her, the way they twisted what she stood for. It's like MSNBC saying that I said Obama sent a tornado to Oklahoma. Said no such thing. But they say I'm deeply racist, and they don't even show a clip of me saying anything deeply racist. They show nothing. And that's what they would do with her, is just harass her, not let her in the Capitol, act like she did something wrong. Uh, just basic come and tell pro garbage. They will do stuff like, you know, go to people's preachers. 
And most big preachers at megachurches are now FBI uh, InfraGuard assets I mean, on record. They try to recruit every dentist my dad knows to spy on people and they tell them, you know, you know, leave your husband or leave your wife. If the person is politically active, the preachers tell them that. They, they've got most of the authority figures because the average authority figure gets approached by the FBI or the CIA and they go, I'm a secret agent. I get an InfraGuard card. I, I get a clergy response team card. And then you tell people, hey, most of these big megachurch preachers are government agents now. And people just don't even believe it. Because, well, that's not a free country. That's not happening. Cynthia McKinney finishing up in the short segment, long segment coming up. I want to get into the, what's happening around the world and where you see things going. But finishing up with what you were getting to about how to stop this. And, and, and uh, I mean, you're a go-getter. I think we need courage. L look what you did exposing the trillions missing at the Pentagon. Look at what you did exposing the, the government pedophile rings. Look at what you did exposing it all. They didn't even deny it when you brought it all up, but they look scared. And so they threw everything they had against you to kick you out of Congress to put a guy in there that thinks islands float. <laughs> You're so right. You know, it's, it's true. It is true. It's surreal. And the thing that I would ask people to do is just before... Please go to the polls and vote. But before you press the button for that person, that candidate, please know something about that candidate. And that is something that I believe um, too many people do. They're committed to voting or either they don't vote. And if they are committed to voting, then they don't know for whom to vote. So we've got to do a better job of putting the word out and getting the message out and grilling these candidates, grilling these people who want to be our representatives in power, whether it's the Congress or the state legislature or the city council or the school board. We've just got to do a better job. And the other thing I think that's important is that we've got to test ourselves. We have got to become courageous. And that means being fearless. That means conquering our fear, not necessarily being fearless, I won't say that, but conquering our fear. So for example, Alex, I um, have always been this, you know, sort of uh, gun control type person until I saw the excesses and I said, okay, I'm not in favor of gun control anymore. I believe in the second amendment. But you know, that took a lot of, courage to do that because that's totally new territory for somebody like oh, me. Oh, that's that's sacrilege for a, a, a true liberal a, you know, like Thomas Jefferson, a true Democrat. Uh, but nowadays, I mean, that's a sacrament. You don't say you're pro-gun, but you did that. You had the courage. That's right. That's right. And, and you know, I'm out here now. I'm out here and um but i'm confident i'm I, I believe in my stands and i know that the founding fathers put the second amendment in there for a reason and it's probably because of things like the development of this infraguard that you're talking about and the department of homeland security and these purchases of ammunition and on and on and on the uh obliteration of the bill of rights uh the, the constitution doesn't even look like itself any longer. And this is something that we've allowed to take place. Well said. We're, well, this is a short segment, long segment coming up. What do you want to get into first when we come back? Obviously, geopolitically, where things are going, I want to get into Ukraine. Yes, Your take on Venezuela, you've traveled there, I know. Uh, and you've traveled to Libya. I want to look back. They now admit Libya is 10 times worse than it was, a total disaster, as you showed it would be. But briefly, in, in one minute, what do you think Obama's legacy is going to be? Impotence. That's what I think. Rubber stamp. Rubber stamp. Um, a United States that has lost its way li without leadership, sort of a runaway lack of leadership, lack of personality, lack of being. Um, 
And I think uh, people have to ask themselves, what does it mean to be a citizen of the United States now? This is a question that we're going to have to answer for ourselves. That's right. Order to be able to chart a way forward. That's right. We, we've got to look in the mirror, like V from Vendetta says. Cynthia McKinney, uh, always a fireball of uh, great ideas. We'll be right back with her straight ahead. See, this is Cynthia. They won't let you hear. We're on the march.